the way. Some give-and-go hockey. Muzzin corrals it up on high. Big shot. What a save by Zatkoff. Oh, Jeff Zatkoff just got a piece of one. It deflected some pushing and shoving after the whistle. Dupre's penalty expires on the second. That puck blooped up into the crowd. And now Warren Peters giving some monkey business after the whistle. And the Penguins getting some good life. Very good shift by Ferriero. And again, Paul Thompson working with Joe Morrow. That's kind of... Nice to welcome everybody back to the beautiful Verizon Wireless Arena in Manchester, New Hampshire. Tonight it is Obama versus Romney bobblehead night. And in four days, New Hampshire is going to be a battleground state for both of those candidates as well. Tom Grace, very happy to welcome everybody in at the tail end of a Coors Light Intermission Report. No score in the hockey game. Thanks to Jeff Zatkoff, the goal post, and a wonderful save by Martin Jones on a Brian Gibbons shorthanded breakaway. Manchester had the edge in play, out shooting the Penguins 13-8, to buoyed by their third power play, which still has 97 seconds to go on it. Ben Ferriero off for a two-minute hooking. Penguins penalty kill working on their 23rd consecutive, and they're hoping they can keep this game scoreless for as long as possible. Tom Grace flying solo tonight. Manchester team president Darren Abbott is in the booth. The microphone is turned down, but going back to our ECHL days, just one of the Mr. Blue Line Penguins off a of faceoff. A shot was blocked, but good job by Ferriero to stay with it. Hash marks pass down low. Here's a turnaround shot. Trevor Smith rebound shot score. Eric Tangrady has scored for the fifth game in a row. So after avoiding the onslaught from Manchester, Ferriero with a fine keep in on the near wing circle. Found Trevor Smith, good kick save by Marty Jones, but it was all Eric Tangrady. Sweeps one right along the ice through the five hole. Penguins with a one to nothing lead. It's a power play goal. Darren, that's a deal. You can't lose a face off clean in your own zone when you're killing a penalty. Well, they, yeah, the Penguins got the win. They got it back to the point. And without messing around, they put it right to the front. Monarchs had a couple swipes at it. So Ferriero now with six assists and Tangrady with the six goals. Here's a shot by Manchester. It's blocked. There was some rough stuff on that last play before the whistle. No penalties called as Richard Clune was going after Robert Fortuzo. And Steve McIntyre came right over the boards on a fake line change. Another big hit behind the play. These Manchester fans are not liking what's happening with the Penguins. And now that time a high hard hit. Clune took a run at Warren Peters. Peters coming along just decked his man. And now Peters is getting jumped. And somebody dropped the gloves. Warren Peters is covering up. He just flew in and decked his man. And dropping the gloves was Andy Andreoff. Andreoff from Pickering, Ontario. Warren Peters took that hit from Clune with great exception. Came in like a fireball and decked his man. Now this could be a four-minute power play for Wilkesbury. Peters never did a thing. He did not make a move. Clune is out there lipping off to Peters. This game is really getting tempered. Andy Andreoff is going to go to the box for Manchester. You can have a fighting major by yourself. This should be at least two, if not four. And dropping the gloves was Andreoff. He was just feeding Warren Peters, who covered up. I think Warren Peters realized if I don't fight back here, we're going to draw another power play. So this could be a seven-minute power play for Wilkesbury if if this is a dream ticket. This should be an instigator. Peters did not fight back, and we have seen before you can have a fight major with just one person fighting. Peters lowered his head. Cubs need to move around. They're tangled up on the far wing side. Good slap pass. Some give and go hockey. Here's a give. It's Dylan Reese. Angle shot. He scores. Dylan Reese. The puck went on edge. It went like a BB right where the post meets the crossbar. It handcuffed Marty Jones. And the Penguins go two for three on the power play tonight. And there was 12 seconds to go on the first penalty. So Wilkesbury will stay on the man advantage. Two goals on 14 shots. The second period power play goal. Dylan Reese, the Pittsburgh native, snaps one to the firecracker upper left wing corner and the penguins power play continues to shine i don't think it was deflected dylan reese is going to get his first of the season 
Two goals on 14 shots, and the Penguins still on the power play. What a goal! Down by a pair. Good poke check. Tangrady and Ferriol. Ferriol stays on side. Across the way. Ferriol. Tangrady couldn't get the open net. A last second back check. Ferriol passed up a gorgeous shot. Not through a screen. Hickey has it blocked. Now Thompson comes along. One on one. Gets to center ice. Thompson trying to protect, backhand shot, and Paul Thompson puts it in an empty net, and now it's on like Donkey Kong. The Penguins get an empty net goal to make it 3 to nothing with 41 seconds to go in regulation. The New Hampshire native who grew up 20 minutes from here puts a bow on it. 3 nothing Penguins. What a nice backhander by Paul Thompson. That's a big goal. And the Penguins off the bench to salute their goaltender. With a three to nothing shutout win. The health of our neighbors improves and suddenly so do our communities. Real change won't happen without you. Live United. So give, advocate, volunteer, live united. Sign up today at liveunited.org. Brought to you by United Way and the Ad Council. Enjoy great brews with today's deal at myNBAPerks.com. Get one Sunday ticket. Do you want to bump here, Tom? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> 